I'm Sam. What's up? Welcome to my Jeep Red. So today I'm going to be showing you how I have a bed built into my Jeep. When I was looking to get into van life or Jeep life, I was watching a ton of videos trying to figure out how I could create a setup that I could live in inside of a fairly small vehicle. And a lot of what I was finding was cots and roof tents, um, sometimes even hammocks. But traveling around as a solo female, I didn't want to be up on top of my roof. And I also really wanted something sturdy and permanent, just kind of built into my vehicle. So my dad and I created a wooden bed frame that is bolted right into the body of my Jeep. So it's really not going anywhere. And it also provides plenty of storage room underneath, which was super important because I'm going to be putting a roof rack on red most likely, but I wanted to keep most of my stuff inside so I'm not leaving it up top and I'm not having to kind of go outside to get things. It's just kind of all in here. So if you are also trying to figure out how you can put a bed into a vehicle and make it a really permanent fixture, but also super easy to make, I have some answers for you. So I'm gonna do a little bed tour and show you what my setup is kind of like. I don't have all my stuff moved in here right now because I've just been doing the renovations on the bed. Um, they're still not done. I'm planning to do some like storage stuff built in, like a sliding um, drawer sort of deal underneath the back of the bed. So there will be an update video about that. Sorry, I've got like a ton of stuff hanging there. <laughs> So I'm gonna be doing an update video eventually, but this is just my basic bed setup. So you can do the exact same thing if you were trying to live this lifestyle too. So here we go. So this is the bed. When we were making it, what we did is we took a measurement from the front of the Jeep to the back to figure out what its length should be. Then we took another measurement figuring out what we wanted the width to be like, using the front half. Once we had the basic rectangle cut out, we held it in and figured out how much we needed to cut out to accommodate the wheel well. To figure out what the height of the bed would be, we measured from the floor to the wheel well top right there. I wanted it to be even with it so I could have more bed space up top. Unfortunately, floors of deeps have all these little rivets in it, so we did cut out little pieces of the 2x4 so it could lay flat on the ground rather than balancing on top of those. As you can see in this middle connector, there is a screw there, or a bolt, sorry. When I took out my back seat, there's holes in the floor from where it was connected, so I just got to use one of those holes to screw down the bed. The back one here, as you can see, is not bolted to the floor because the front two make it very sturdy. I'm trying to lift it and nothing's happening. So it just gets to be set in there. Measuring the height of the front bed legs was the hardest part. As you can see, bed floors are two different levels. So although both of the back pieces are the same height, the front ones were different. Since the front two legs are different heights, I couldn't put that support beam in between the two. So we instead used these little metal corner connectors and attach them that way. When I took out my passenger seat, there was the bolt holes in the floor from that as well, so that's what we used to connect the bed to the actual floor. So one thing about my bed that I thought was really important when making it was I didn't want to hit my head off my roof while I was sitting on it. So it's at a perfect height right now where I get plenty of storage underneath, but I can also sit up because if the weather was crappy, I didn't want to be hunched over all day if I was stuck inside the Jeep. So that's one thing that I think is really awesome about my setup. I'll be doing an update video, show you guys my more elaborate setup, but this is just how to do a basic bed in a vehicle. You know, nice and simple. It literally takes no time at all to create and it's sturdy, it's permanent and uh, it's different. I didn't find anything like this when I was trying to find a bed setup. So if you liked this, please give my video a like. Uh, if you have any questions about it or comments, please leave a comment. I would love to uh, respond to you, get to know you guys. And I'm going to be posting more vlogs, more um, Jeep tours as my setup becomes more and more elaborate and finished. 
because there's still so much to do. Obviously, I'm not just going to be living on a wooden bed with nothing in here. So as everything changes, I'm going to keep you guys posted. So please subscribe. I would love for you to join me on this journey and follow along. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.